While Tableau offers the ability to make pretty complex calculations, it no doubt has limitations when compared to Python. That is where TabPy comes into the picture. What TabPy does is that it allows you to incorporate more advanced analytics such as time series and machine learning algorithms into your already powerful visualizations. Now this is great because you can now show the rest of your team what your Python code is doing and how it connects to the data in the form of your visualization. With the growth of cross-functional teams, this is a breakthrough act for your data analyst scientist job role. So hi all, I welcome you to this session on TabPy. And today we shall be introducing you to the concept of TabPy while also helping you get started with a little hands-on demo. Now before we begin, let's look at our agenda for today. So we're going to start out by introducing you to TabPy. We're going to talk about what is this thing and why do we need it immediately followed by the advantages of using TabPy, which is an extension of the why TabPy section. Then we're going to move on to exploring TabPy. This is where we shall discuss the entire process of installing TabPy, connecting to the TabPy server and deploying functions step by step. Finally, we shall be doing a little forecasting based off of a use case with the help of TabPy and machine learning algorithms. So without much ado, let's get started. So what exactly is TabPy? TabPy is an analytics extension from Tableau, which basically enables you as a user to execute Python scripts and saved functions using Tableau. So essentially using TabPy, you can run Python scripts on the fly and display the results as a visualization on Tableau. Users can control data being sent to TabPy by interacting in their own Tableau worksheet or dashboard or stories using various different parameters. So basically you get the functionality of Python with the ease of Tableau. So when you use TabPy, you can define calculated fields in Python, thereby you can leverage the power of a large number of machine learning libraries straight from your visualization platform. This Python integration in Tableau enables extremely powerful scenarios. For example, it takes only a few lines of Python code to get the sentiment scores for reviews of products sold at an online retailer. Then you can explore the results in many ways using Tableau. There are other common business scenarios as well, such as lead scoring, which basically means that you create a more efficient conversion funnel by scoring your user's behavior with a predictive model. You can also churn prediction to learn when and why your users are leaving your platform and you can predict and prevent it from happening. Now, TabPy uses the popular Anaconda environment, which comes pre-installed and ready to use with many Python packages, including SciPy, NumPy and Scikit-learn. But you can install and use any Python library in your scripts. If you have a team of data scientists developing custom models in your company, TabPy can also facilitate sharing those models with others who want to leverage them inside Tableau via the published model. And once published, all it takes to run a machine learning model is a single line of Python code in Tableau, regardless of the model type or complexity. You can estimate the probability of customer churn using logistic progression, multi-layer perception neural network, or gradient boosted trees just as easily by simply passing new data to your already available model. Using TabPy, complex functions become easier to maintain, share, and reuse as deployed methods in the predictive service environment. You can improve and update the model and code behind the endpoint while the calculated field keeps on working without any change. And a dashboard author does not need to know or worry about the complexities of the model behind the endpoint. So together, Tableau and Python enable many, many more advanced analytics scenarios, making your dashboards even more impactful. But why exactly do you need TabPy? What problems does it solve and how does it make our lives easier? Now, as I had previously mentioned, TabPy makes it possible to use Python scripts in Tableau calculated fields. So basically what you're doing is you're pairing Python's machine learning capabilities with the power of Tableau's strong data visualization. You can rapidly develop analytics applications that can aid various business tasks. So let me show you what I mean using an example. 
Now, this is a pretty interesting one, which I found off of Tableau's official website. So let us say that I'm trying to identify a criminal hotspot or multiple criminal hotspots in a certain city. So here we are going to be using a data from the city's police department, which consists of calls over six years reporting various types of criminal activities. Now, if you look at this data, it's really hard to visualize and identify patterns by just looking at all of these numbers and boxes. The density of activity and noise in GPS readings included make your job even tougher. But there is something known as density-based spatial clustering of applications with noise or DB scan, which is a well-suited unsupervised machine learning algorithm for this sort of a job. And the great part is it is also installed very conveniently by default as a part of TagPy. So this is how it works. It takes in two parameters, one to specify the maximum allowed distance between points for them to be considered a part of the same cluster. So anything beyond those points is not a part of the same cluster. And the second one to specify the minimum number of nearby points to constitute a cluster. So basically to be qualified as a cluster, you need a minimum threshold of points. As simple as that. Minimum number of points and maximum distance between the points, right? Now, once that's done, it allows for experimenting within various different values and event frequencies and puts on different labels on different areas. Now, this data can be applied anywhere for a police department looking for criminal hotspots where they know which areas should they be sending more patrol vehicles to, to a tourist looking for places to avoid from getting mugged when they are traveling to this particular city. Also, if you are a tenant or you're looking for a house to buy, you know which area specifically to avoid when speaking to your broker. This is a great example where embedding the Python code into Tableau worked great for us. Now let's move on and install TabPy. For the sake of simplicity, I will default to using Anaconda. Also for you guys following the tutorial, please make sure you have the latest version of Python installed. And if you're not using the latest version of Python as yet, it's time you update. So this is my Anaconda Navigator and I'm going to launch the command prompt. All right. So the first step is to create a virtual environment. Now this way it will be way easier to track what versions or packages you have installed if they are all in one place. We've already opened the Conda command prompt, preferably as an admin or a base user. So I'm just going to type Conda create virtual environment. Now you can go to your desired path and type this particular command virtual ENV or whatever you feel like calling your virtual environment. Now this will take barely a couple of seconds. And now what we're going to do is we're going to install and upgrade pip. So again, Python. Install pip install upgrade. Okay. Upgrade PIP. Now this will also take a couple of seconds. As you can see, it's trying to uninstall my current installation of pip and it is trying to upgrade it to a newer version. So now it has successfully uninstalled version 20.0.2 .0 and finally successfully installed 20.3.3. .3. Now once pip is installed, we can easily install TabPy. Now the latest updates to TabPy makes this incredibly easy to do without the need to clone the repository and go into the setup folder. All that jazz is not required anymore. So we can just go ahead and type pip install tab by. Now this should only take a few seconds to complete. Again, see this is the advantage of running this on a virtual environment. If I would have tried it on a CMD on my current environment, it would have taken ages to download this much. Okay, so now you have TabPy. Great. So to run the TabPy server, all you have to do is simply type TabPy.
Okay. So now at this point, it'll be a good idea to go to your browser and type HTTP localhost and enter port number 9004 because that is where tab by usually runs. All right, you should see a page like so. It's not very fancy. So the next step would be to go into Tableau. So we're going to open our Tableau desktop, go to help settings and performance and click on manage analytics extension connection. So now if you're using an older version of Tableau, you might see this as an option called manage external service connections. Yeah, a dialog box or a window like this should appear for you. So under the select an analytics extension, you should have tab by slash external API. On server, use local host and port is 9004 as we just saw. This is the default port for TabPy. Now we have to click on test connection to test out our connection and you should get a message saying successful connection established. Click on OK and you are connected to the TabPy server via Tableau. So congratulations. Now our Tableau is already connected with TabPy and now it's good to go. All right, so first things first, there are two ways in which we can use a Python calculation in Tableau. The first one is to write code directly as Tableau calculated fields. The code then will be immediately executed on the fly in the TabPy server. And the second one is to deploy a function into the TabPy server that can be reachable as a REST API endpoint. In this article, we will talk about how to do the former in which we will write code directly as Tableau calculated fields. So since this is our first, we are going to be performing a simple clustering to an Airbnb dataset that is publicly available through the Tableau website. What we are going to do is that we are going to cluster each zip code based on their housing characteristics using several popular clustering algorithms. So the first step would be to import our dataset to Tableau. Let's open a workbook. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four. Now understand that our main motive here is to learn how TabPy works and not exactly create the best machine learning model. Hence, we are not going to focus on creating the best possible model. We'll only use some variables in the data set to perform clustering. Our first variable is the median number of beds in each zip code. The second is the average price of each zip code. And finally, the median number of ratings in each zip code. So I'm going to go on to my first sheet and we need to create control parameters here. We need to create two parameters that we're going to use to select our clustering method and number of clusters which are cluster numbers and clustering algorithm. So I'm going to select this drop down and click on create parameter. Name the first one cluster numbers. Data type will be integer current value is one automatic. And for allowable values, I'm going to select a range. Minimum is going to be one, maximum is going to be 10. And then step size is one. You can change it according to your requirements. I'm just going to keep the range of values less because this is a very rudimentary design. The second one, I'm going to create another parameter. And as I had mentioned, I'm going to call this the clustering algorithm. Again, clustering algorithm data type is integer. Under current value, I'm going to write K means. And I'm going to use list as allowable values. So again, I'm going to go create a parameter, name this clustering algorithm. And now I'm going to go ahead and list k means add two. And we're going to add another one called affinity propagation. Okay, and these are your two parameters. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to create a script. Same way we're going to go to this drop down 
and we are going to create a Python script as a calculated field in Tableau. So we're going to click on create calculated field and in that particular calculated field you can insert this piece of code. I'm just going to open this up so you can see the full code. Now understand that this code is wrapped up in script underscore real which is our function from Tableau and step by step this is what it is doing. First it's going to import the required Python libraries right here then scaling features with the standard scaler then it's going to combine the scaled features and it'll handle null values let me just bring this down under modeling we have conditions to check which algorithm to use okay we have k-means mini batch k-means and affinity propagation and then this model is going to return our result as a list which has average price, median of review scores or ratings, and the median of beds, cluster numbers, and algorithm. And in the end, it's going to return the clustering results as a list. You have average and both the medians. Then we will convert the results into string data type and make it as categorical data. So that's that. One more thing to notice is that we need to do the table calculation in zip code or pin code so we need to change the default table calculation to zip code to make sure that the code works. So we're going to click on default table calculation and select zip code and click on OK. So finally, now it's time to visualize our results. I'm going to use a zip code to create a map and visualize the clustering results. So our longitude and latitude Go there. All right, you've been successfully integrating Python and Tableau. And this integration is a beginning step for way more advanced calculations to use TabPy. So I'm going to look forward to seeing what you build in this integration. And on that cheerful note, let's end the session. My name is Upasna. Hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial. Thank you and have a great day.